Hi everyone! I'm going shopping for a bracelet for my birthday gift today. So come join me to pick out my bracelet and unbox it together. If I purchase a piece of jewelry that I really like, I always have it on all the time. So for this bracelet, I also wanted something that I can wear every day as well. I did do a lot of research on what I would want and came down to two pieces that I really want to try on. So we'll head over to Tiffany & Co first. The one that I wanted to try on was the Tiffany's TYR bracelet with diamonds. I brought my watch with me to see if it's going to stack well together. And I'm trying on rose gold and also with white gold. It was cute overall, but I wanted something that I can stack with other bracelets in the future. And this one, in my opinion, looks cuter just as is. Now we're going over to see my second option from Cartier, which I had more interest in originally. I actually came to this store here a couple of times also for my birthday gift last year to get a necklace, but ended up getting it from Van Cleef instead. So we'll see if we'll be able to get the bracelet this time. The piece that I was interested in is the Just and Glue bracelet, small size in rose gold with diamonds. I have all my jewelry in white gold, so I actually wanted to branch out and get something in rose gold as well. And try stacking it with the love bracelet and it is so beautiful. Of course I wanted both of them, but unfortunately it was out of the budget so I'll probably get it in the near future. I first started out as collecting bags for a little bit, but I feel much happier with purchasing jewelry because I get to see it every day on me. For example, the necklace that I have right here, I've never taken it off since the first day that I got it, which is my last birthday. And I also have a ring from Tiffany's that I always have it on when I go outside. I've been getting jewelry pieces as gifts for anniversaries and special days, and it really helps to remind me of the person as well. So I think jewelry makes a really great gift idea. I had so much fun, such great time purchasing this piece from an amazing essay. Now let's head home so that we can unbox it together and we can look at all the details. Okay, I'm just really excited to unbox it right now. This is actually my second Cartier piece. My first one was my pink must watch that I got from Paris trip last year. So let's see what we have inside. And I think we should open up the most important part first, our bracelet right here. My lovely SA did an amazing job wrapping this up for me. So they use like a pure white paper to wrap it up. And then they seal it with the hot wax seal stamping. So you can see the Cartier logo right here. So this one right here, and then there's another one in the back as well. I'm gonna open it up really carefully because this is such a piece of art. The wrapping that he did right here. We open up the paper. I've seen people on the internet where they collect these seals and make it into a necklace or uh, like another piece of jewelry. Well, I will, probably won't be doing that, but it's, it's pretty cute though. It's a beautiful red box inside. So let's see what we have inside this box. Technically, this box opens up like that, so the main box inside can slide out like that very easily. This is our main box slash container for, for the jewelry. We have our gold lining right here. Very, very elegant. And then just to open it up, we have our gold button right here. We just have to press the button and then it opens up automatically just like that. And we have our piece right here, which is beautiful. So again, the bracelet that I got here is the Just and Clue bracelet, small size in rose gold with diamonds. So it's on this little pillow right here. So I just have to slide it off. It's like that. This is what it looks like all around. There are a total of 20 diamonds all around the head right here, up top, and in the end, the tail part right here, which equals to 0 0.18 carats. 
So if you see right here, you can tell that it's not like a perfectly uh, circular shape, but rather of an oval shape. And to put this on yourself, I was actually playing around with it to find out the easiest way. And I feel like if you rest the head of the bracelet right on the wrist and just wrap it around, just like that, and if you hear the click, that's it. Since there's a metal wire inside, it's just really easy. You can just wrap it around yourself. Size-wise, I got a size 15. They did not have size 14 in stock, which is the smallest size. And I kind of wanted it not too tight because I'm planning on stacking it with the love bracelet in the future. And it's pretty lightweight. I heard it's hollow inside with the metal wire. I was actually asking my SA if there's a chance where I accidentally bend the bracelet and break it. But he said, no, that does not usually happen. Um, only, if, only if you put extra force into it to try to break it into half. But obviously I won't be doing that. So I think I'm good on that part. And before we move on, I did want to show you what it looks like to layer it with a, a silver watch um, that I have from Cartier. So this one is my small size tank must watch. Um, it is silver. So I honestly personally don't think it goes that well with my rose gold bracelet, but just for people out there who's curious. So it looks like that. Okay, this is what it looks like up close. It doesn't look too bad, honestly but I'm just not a big fan of um, mixing and matching two different colors in the same arm. And you can tell I have a lot of red marks from the bracelet, but don't worry, I just have really sensitive skin. So it's just a little bit of scratch, just a little bit, like slight bit. I, my skin turns really red, like really fast, but it does not hurt at all. It does not hurt you. Like the right here, pointy part, it doesn't hurt. It really doesn't. <laughs> So if you're concerned about that, um, I think you're fine. Okay, let's see what else we have in the bag. First, um, I'm sure you're all curious about the price. So for the bracelet, it was $5,050 total. The tax was $473.45. The shopping bag fee um, was 10 cents, which is very cheap, I think, considering the quality of the bag. So everything total was $5,523.55. There is also a certificate here. So this certificate is saying that this piece was made in 18K gold. We certify that this is an authentic Cartier jewel. There's an individual serial number and a date of purchase. I think that was the fanciest um, certificate that I've ever gotten from a luxury um, store. So I'll put this back because I might need it. You never know. And then next up, we have our travel pouch. This is very useful. I also got this for my watch last time. So if you open it up, it's like suede inside, feels really soft. And then you get a little pillow right here. Um, you can put your watch slash um, bracelet, wherever it is. You can just slide it like on here so it doesn't scratch anywhere. And then inside, um, there's like little pockets for your earrings. Of course, I don't have any earrings from Cartier, um, but maybe in the future. And then our last one is, this is a cleaning kit. You get a cleaning solution, which I already have for my watch. So I heard you only get the cleaning kit only if you purchase watches or anything diamond, but I don't know. That's what my SA told me. So I have two cleaning kits. I thought it was a cleaning solution, but it says it's a lotion for jewelry and watches. I've never really cleaned um, any of my jewelry. I always bring it into the store whenever I get a chance, so I've never really had to use it. But it's a spray, so you can just spray it. And then you get like a toothbrush, like a towel, like a suede towel for jewelry. What I was told was that don't, don't use the brush on the bracelet itself, use it only for the diamond. And then like for the rest of the, the piece, um, you just wipe it off with the towel. Don't brush it 
on the actual bracelet where there's no diamonds. This is a little booklet telling you in 13 different languages how to take care of the jewelry. Looking after jewelry and watches with the metal bracelet. Says to spray the lotion on the surface of your Cartier creation and then gently clean with a soft brush. Uh, allow the lotion to act for three minutes, then rinse the cleansed surface with warm water. Finally, wipe your product using the soft cloth provided. Good to know. So overall, I'm so happy with the purchase of this bracelet. This is such a timeless piece. I am so sure that I'll be able to wear this bracelet for a long period of time. And I just cannot wait to stack it with the love bracelet. So please tune in for my future videos. And again, a huge shout out to my boyfriend, Daryl, for sponsoring this really nice bracelet. Thank you again. Um, and that is it for today's vlog slash unboxing video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at my next one.